Hi everybody, welcome to Train Forever. I'm Andrew Barr and today we're talking about how to get back into the gym after some time away. Whether you're coming back to the gym after a couple weeks of vacation or if you've been away for months or even years, the tips that we're going to cover today are going to help you maximize progress, minimizing your risk of injury, and put you on the path to long-term success. Tip number one, don't go to the gym every single day. Committing to regular exercising is great, but trying to go every single day sets you up for failure and it just isn't necessary. For a beginner or somebody who hasn't been exercising for a while, start by committing to going three times per week. Training three times per week consistently is plenty for most beginners to see progress and the results they want. Plus, it has the added benefits of providing you with some flexibility in your schedule for when life inevitably gets in the way and it provides time for adequate recovery between workouts, which is just as important as the workouts themselves. Professional athletes take days off. You can too. Tip number two, don't follow a traditional bro split. The bro split is a training method that's been around for a while where you train one muscle group per workout day. And you usually train that muscle quite extensively. The format through a week that most people follow goes chest, back, legs, shoulders, arms. Here's the thing about the bro split. Research has confirmed that it is not the optimal way to train for any goal. And if you're a beginner or if you're just starting out after some time away, training one muscle group to basically complete exhaustion in a workout is a lot for that muscle to deal with. And you're going to get extremely sore at this stage of your training. Now, when you're coming back to the gym after some time away, some soreness is inevitable. And it's also important to note that it's not inherently dangerous or bad to train while you're sore. But soreness is unpleasant. And this type of training will cause excess soreness, particularly at this stage in your training career. So why would you subject yourself to additional suffering for no additional benefit, since we know this isn't the optimal way to train? For beginners or people just starting out after some time away from the gym, the best approach most of the time is some version of a full body approach. This allows you to do quality work while minimizing soreness and puts you on the path to long-term success, helping you feel fresh and ready when the time for your next workout comes. If you're finding this content useful and informative, go ahead and give me a like and make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss another training tip. I'll be putting out a new video each week to help you get the most out of your training sessions. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. Tip number three, don't skip the warm-up. Skipping the warm-up or doing an inadequate or inappropriate warm-up is one of the most common and potentially dangerous mistakes that people make when they're just getting started out in the gym. The warm-up is not only one of the most powerful injury prevention tools that you have at your disposal, it is also a powerful performance enhancer. Simply put, you will have a better workout if you do a high quality warm-up. And the best thing about a great warm-up is it only needs to take between 5 or 10 minutes. Now steady state cardio on the bike or the elliptical for 5 minutes is not the best way to warm up, but it is a start. In addition to increasing muscle temperature, you know, warming you up, you also want to choose movements and methods that take your muscles and joints through full ranges of motion and really prepare your body specifically for the type of work that you're going to be doing that day. An effective warm-up is just as important as an effective workout. And again, it only takes five or 10 minutes for a great warm-up. In terms of bang for your buck and value for your time, it's one of the best investments you can make. Tip number four, don't forget about the non-gym parts too. Training hard is great, but if you want to transform your body or get stronger or just really get all the benefits that you might get from training consistently, you need to take care of business outside of the gym too. And that means getting enough sleep, eating healthy food, sufficient calories to help your body recover from the work you're doing in the gym, hydrating properly and managing stress. If you want results from your training, whatever that means to you, these things are just as important as the work that you're putting in the gym. And this is another reason why training three times per week makes great sense, particularly in the early stages of your training career. 
rather than putting any extra energy that you might have into additional workouts, put some of that into the lifestyle side of things. Commit to going to bed at a decent hour. Uh, do some meal prep on the weekends or whatever it is. To really get great results, you need to take care of business outside the gym. Tip number five, consider hiring a coach. If you have a problem with your car, you hire a mechanic. If you have a problem with your taxes, you hire an accountant. If you want a great workout designed just for you and to have confidence to know that you're moving the right way and you're gonna get the best results in the most efficient time manner, well, the best thing to do is to hire a coach. Now, there are some legitimate challenges with hiring a qualified personal trainer. Number one, it's not within everybody's budget. I understand that. Number two is that even though there are a lot of really great, educated, experienced professionals who practice seriously and want to take care of their clients, there are also a lot of not very good personal trainers out there, and it can be tough to find a good one, but it's not impossible. So if you're considering hiring a coach, do some homework, You know, interview your potential trainers, get a sense of if they're the right fit for you, and you don't need to commit to some crazy 72 session package or any of the stuff that the big box commercial gyms like to push. Get five sessions, you know, just enough to get an assessment and a new program. Maybe go off, work on it on your own for a little while, and then come back and get a tune-up. You can get a ton of value out of these smaller sessions. And a lot of the best coaches out there have offerings like this so that they can work with different types of people. I understand that personal training isn't within everybody's budget, or maybe there are other reasons why hiring a coach just isn't the right option for you. And that's why I created Strength Training Essentials. It's the ultimate guide and training program for beginners looking to get on the path to long-term success in the weight room. It's a 12-week program broken down into three-week phases, plus a ton of information and resources to give you the knowledge you need to make good training decisions and feel confident when you go to the gym. It's available on my website and the link is in the description. If you're looking for some professional guidance at a low price point and don't want to hire a coach, this is probably the best option you can find. Check it out. The last tip, tip number six, don't worry about what anybody is thinking. Gyms can be an intimidating place. I get it. But you need to understand that the people who work out regularly are used to seeing beginners come through the door. And the vast majority of the time, they're going to be too busy paying attention to their own workout to be concerned with what, what you're doing. And the only people who would take time out of their workout to judge you for being a beginner are assholes. And it doesn't make sense to care about what assholes think. Gyms are for everybody. And if you want to put in work and get stronger and get results, then you belong there just as much as everybody. I hope you thought today's video was useful. And if you did, please give me a like and make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss another training tip. I'll be putting out a new video each week to help you get the most out of your training sessions. And if you head to the description, I've got lots of cool stuff there for you guys. You can get my free guide to building core strength, lots of awesome ab exercises in there for you, and it's completely free. Plus, you can find Strength Training Essentials, my 12-week training program that I mentioned earlier made specifically for beginners. And I have another training program too called Strength at Home, which is designed to be done at home with minimal equipment if you're not going to the gym these days. You can also find information on my online coaching too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.